and they had to sedate me. They had to put an injection in my neck, one in my thigh, and I was out. And I woke up at the psych ward. Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, turn that post notification bell on so you don't ever miss a new video that I upload. Today, I have my baby girl here with me. She was just about to fall asleep and I had to grab her real quick because I wanted her to be in this video. Z, look. <laughs> Four months now, I know she's getting so big, you guys. But today's video is going to be something, something that I put off talking about because I didn't want to talk about it but basically I just want to tell you guys a story time and like just kind of the truth about postpartum and I'm not meaning postpartum like physically I'm meaning postpartum mentally I don't want to say downplayed but it's definitely taken for granted and something that not a lot of people talk deeply about when I was educating myself on postpartum depression initially before I even had Zuri it was just like baby blues you're gonna feel sad for a little bit but it'll get better but I never even knew that postpartum anxiety was a thing and it is just letting you know and I dealt with both both postpartum depression and anxiety and it was really bad with me personally because I have a history of mental health issues I never like took medication for it only because I was able to deal with it and like I knew how to calm my anxiety and I knew how to like get out of depression episodes if that makes sense like I just I kind of knew what to do, but when after I had my baby, like it down spiral jaw, like I did not know what to do at all. It's like I couldn't control my thoughts, I couldn't control how I felt. It's like I just was in this black hole and couldn't pull myself out of it. Let's rewind to when I had Zuri. If you guys remember the labor and delivery vlog, if you have not seen it, make sure you guys go check it out. But I was literally the happiest person on earth when I gave birth to my daughter. Like, I was so in love with her. She was so beautiful. She still is so beautiful. And I was just like, oh my God, this is really my daughter. And I was thanking God. I'm like, thank you for her. She's so pretty. She's so perfect. She's everything I ever wanted and I ever prayed for. The next thing you know, like a couple weeks after her birthday, I was like, I don't know, you guys. Like, this feeling, I was, okay. First of all, I was really sleep deprived. If you guys know, like obviously you don't get a lot of sleep, especially with the fresh newborn because they wake up very often to eat. So I was not sleeping at all. I probably went a whole week and only got maybe like 10 hours of sleep. Okay, that's probably dramatic, but some, something around that. Like I was so sleep deprived and I know they say sleep when your baby sleeps. That shit's not as easy as it sounds, okay? Because when the baby's sleeping, I'm thinking, oh my God, like I have to make sure she's breathing. Like what if she wakes up for a bottle? I might as well just stay awake for a little bit because I know she's about to wake up soon. Like I was just thinking too much basically that I wasn't sleeping. So then when I did fall asleep, she would wake up and then it was just, it was crazy. I just felt so, so sad. Like you guys, nothing really could cheer me up. I was so sad. I don't know why. I was just in this, this weird feeling in my body. I'm like, something's not right. Like I'm not, I don't feel okay. You know, what basically happened to me is a blur because a lot of it, I was not myself. This next part is something that I, I'm literally like, <laughs> my hands are sweating, I'm so nervous. I did not want to talk about this at all, but then I had to think to myself, there's probably a lot of other women like that's dealing with this and think that there's something wrong with them. And I just want you to know, it's nothing wrong with you. It happens to a lot of people and you're not crazy, you're not weird, you're not, you know what I mean? Like, you're okay, you just have to get help. And that's what I had to do. It got to the point where I had to go to the psych ward. I had to stay at a psychiatric hospital for five days and you guys that was like the okay, this is hard this is very very hard hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life to stay at a psychiatric hospital I honestly felt like I was in jail I've never been to jail before I was alone it was the scariest thing I've ever went through so many things happened to me I just it was scary. Anyways, I want to kind of tell you guys this story about how I got there and like how I got to that point. So basically one morning I woke up and I just obviously wasn't feeling okay. 
um, my mom knew that something was wrong with me. She was like, Jamila, we have to take you to the hospital. You're not okay. Like I was just saying things I don't usually say, doing things I don't usually do. I just was not myself at all. And my family and friends could tell like that I wasn't myself. And so she had took me to the emergency room and basically they was like what's wrong and i told them i think i was having a panic attack now before this even happened she called 911 because i was passing out um i don't really remember it vividly but i just know that i didn't want her to leave me and i kept saying mom come here come here and she'd sit next to me and i just like start like falling asleep on her but i wasn't really falling asleep i was just losing consciousness and she called 911 and they came checked my vitals and everything they said you're okay it's all in your head you need to relax and breathe and I'm like I literally feel like the floor is falling like I was sitting in the chair at the dining table and I saw the um paramedic sitting there with like his vital stuff and whatever that he was using to take my vitals and I literally I was told him I was like I feel like I'm falling through the floor he's like it's in your head you're okay it's gonna be okay and I'm just like trying to do deep breathing and relax myself anyway I got to the hospital they put me in this room and I was there by myself because I didn't want mom I did not want my mom to come back with me I don't know why I just remember feeling like I was in a dream but I wasn't I was literally in the hospital like I was okay but I felt like I was in a dream I felt like I couldn't wake up from this nightmare got out of the bed I went out to the hallways the nurses were looking at me like what the hell is wrong with her and I'm like can you guys help me like something's wrong I don't know what's wrong with me and they're just looking at me sideways and I'm like oh my god they're against me something's wrong with me like they think I'm crazy like it was just so much then I ended up going back out to where my mom was in the waiting room and she was like, Jamila, what are you doing out here? And I'm like, mom, something's not right. I don't know. I just don't feel right. It's like something is wrong. I don't know what it is, but something is wrong. Like a panic attack times three that ended up turning into like a whole psychotic episode, if you will. Came back out to the waiting room. I sat next to her. She was looking at me like, why are you out here? Like the doctors and stuff did not bring you back out here. They didn't discharge you yet. Like, what are you doing? And I just laid my head on her and I started like limply falling. And she was like, oh my God, help me guys, somebody please, she's passing out. And then they came out with the wheelchair, tried to lift me on it, like it was like patting my face, trying to wake me up. And I was like, I was awake, but it just felt like I wanted to fall asleep. Like I wanted to, I don't know. All I can remember is I was kicking, I was screaming, I was punching the nurses. I was just not myself at all, you guys. And this shit was so like terrifying of having to call the like hospital security whatever and they had to sedate me they had to put an injection in my neck one in my thigh and i was out and i woke up at the psych ward just remember that i did not want to get on my bed at all i wasn't eating i wasn't showering this is disgusting i know tmi but like it's real life like this shit happens this is what real ass depression looks like they had to come in my room and give me my medicine because i refused to leave my room in my bed at all like i just was not comfortable with where i was i was scared there was hella people and mind you if you've never been in a psychiatric hospital going there for the first time is a like i don't know it's like a lot of people expect it to be like all these crazy people like just walking around and doing crazy stuff and i mean like that's very stereotypical the reason as to why mental health is so stigmatized because people just like have this idea of what they think like you know people who don't have their head on right do and it's some of it is true but a lot of it is not the first floor that i was on when i got there was the floor with people who were like psychotic you know like you would expect a psych ward to be like they were like just not themselves like they were just angry or or a lot of them threw big tantrums and the um security had to like sedate them like it was crazy y'all and i ended up moving on to the top floor which is the like more subtle floor with like the older people who have dementia or like the younger kids who tried to commit suicide and stuff like that like that's the floor i got on only because they knew that that second floor was real triggering to me not somewhere that i needed to be i was away from my daughter i was away from my boyfriend i was away from my family for five days i did get phone calls and i did get to like call them and stuff like that but it obviously wasn't the same I wasn't myself I literally have this journal that I wrote in um, it says December 28th to January 5th um, the name of the hospital diary because that's how long I was there for so it's I'm not gonna read it to y'all only because I just don't want to but it's a lot in here that I wrote about and it's it's I don't know 
but I'm okay now. I'm on medication. I'm doing well. I'm doing a lot better. I'm much happier. Um, I see a therapist, you know, I'm I'm on top of my mental health and that's just one of the, the goals that I had this year was to be on top of it and just to like take my self-care seriously because if I'm not okay, my daughter is not going to be okay because I obviously need to be okay for her to be okay and that is just something that I had to learn to do because I was just obviously focused on your kid, you know, it's up your kid first, your kid this, your kid that and that's important that's what it should be but if you're not okay if you don't take care of yourself first your kids are not going to have the best mom that they could possibly have and that's what they need another thing i wanted to talk about is breastfeeding obviously i was breastfeeding for i only breastfed her for three weeks to be honest with you guys because of my mental health decide is breastfeeding her more important or is getting myself some help more important and obviously mental health was more important because i needed to be the best mom i could be so I ended up stopped breastfeeding her um, after I left the hospital because I, first of all, I was on these diff different medications and I didn't know how it would affect her. And they did say like it was breastfeeding safe, but I didn't trust that and I just decided to just go ahead and take her off and do formula. And honestly, that's the best decision I've ever made because she's fine. Like formula fed, breastfed, whatever the hell, if your baby is fed, you're good they're good nobody like feed you into your head that oh you need to breastfeed because it's the best thing for them i mean yes it's really good for them but if you're like needing to take medication and get yourself better formula is okay like it's fine you know say so i'm good girl yeah but it was something that changed my life and that i really learned from um so that's kind of it i don't know i was really all over the place with that story but yeah it's postpartum is not like something to play with and a few of my symptoms i don't think i talked about this i was just ha having like really weird thoughts like just scary scenes of like her falling down the stairs or you know it's, a lot of that that is normal to have thoughts like that because it's your brain trying to tell you to be more protective um of the baby but it was just scary to me because it was something that I couldn't control and something that I could not just stop playing. It was like a videotape in my head that kept playing up these, these horrible things happening to my daughter and my family. And I was just like, yeah, no, I need help. First got the hospital, I really wanted to talk about this. Like, I was like, okay, I need to really make a video because this is something that's real life and a lot of people probably need help with. But when I got out, I'm like, I don't want to say nothing. Like, I just felt, I don't know. I just didn't want to talk about it. And it's just something that I just was trying to keep to myself that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed watching it and like i said if there's any moms out there who is dealing with postpartum depression or anxiety you are not alone i promise you get some help okay it's gonna be okay like you're gonna be fine you just need some help and that's all and nothing is wrong with medication don't let nobody try to talk to you like saying that this isn't gonna help you it will you obviously don't need to depend on it but if you need it to like get yourself better and get to that point where you don't have to depend on it do that because it's like it's your mind you know what i'm saying no one else is dealing with it but you so get yourself better but yeah that's all i want to say you guys um thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope that whoever is out there dealing with something that this helped you um so yeah have a great day and i'll see you guys in my next video